Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about interrupt vector table IVT. So let's begin our session. So first, what is IVT, interrupt vector table? It is a data structure or table which contains the mapping of vector number and the memory address of the ISR. ISR means interrupt service routine. So like this, this is vector number and this is ISR address. And the vector number will have value from 0 to 255, 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. And the ISR column will have the, the address of corresponding ISR. In actual, the ISR would be present in the or loaded in the memory. Suppose this is your RAM and this is your ISR. This is your ISR. 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 Just for the example, so I have shown three ISR here. For every vector number, there would be a ISR address and in this column it will point to the ISR so this table will store the address of this ISR and here it will store the address of this ISR here it will store the address of this ISR this table stores the ISR address or pointer to the ISR ISR would be present in some other memory location with this vector table interrupt vector table is created in the ram only it is created at the first memory location of the memory or the ram the size of this table can go up to 1024 bytes it can store maximum 256 entries and every entry in this table is known as the interrupt vector interrupt ve this 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 now let's see the vector number it contains the integer value from 0 to 255 as we discussed and this interrupt number is assigned to hardware device whichever hardware device needs the interrupt number for example for the keyboard interrupt number 1 is assigned for the system timer interrupt number 0 is assigned so this is the number assigned to the hardware device whichever needs the interrupt number so either bios assign this number or operating system this interrupt number is also known as the irq number IRQ number interrupt request number when the device will raise the interrupt they will send this number to the CPU now this interrupt number or IRQ number also tells about the priority of the interrupt priority of priority of the interrupt value is less priority is high the interrupt which is having the zero value is having the highest priority system timer is having the highest priority why the priority is important because if more than one interrupt is raised at the same time then which one should, should be handled first would be decided based on the priority of the interrupt two interrupts are raised one and two priority then cpu will execute this interrupt first so the priority of the interrupt is also important so the example of device which needs the interrupt number is your keyboard your mouse your nic card video card sound card timer there are many more but these are the important ones which needs the interrupt number just for the understanding purpose i have attached one screenshot here which is showing the interrupt number or irq number assigned to particular device so you can see zero has been assigned to system timer as i already explained one to keyboard 
you can see this is for sound card IRQ number 5 this is for disk controller 6 real time clock video card here you can see one screenshot which is showing the IRQ number some component like PIC interrupt controller programmable interrupt controller CPU and this is the interrupt request and here you can see the devices so basically these devices raise an interrupt to the interrupt controller and then interrupt controller sends particular interrupt to the CPU based on the priority of the interrupt in actual the device raise an interrupt to the interrupt controller and here you can see the IRQ number if you are not able to understand the interrupt controller how it works know it we will have another session for it now let's see the ISR interrupt service routine it is also known as the interrupt handler interrupt interrupt handler basically this is the piece of the code which is executed whenever a interrupt is raised by the device or any hardware component or by the program that is called the software interrupt and if the interrupt is raised by the hardware or any device then it is called the hardware interrupt in any of the case whether it's hardware interrupt or software interrupt the ISR is executed by the CPU to handle the interrupt so for example if you are pressing the key on the keyboard then the ISR related to keyboard would be executed to read the to read which key has been pressed or which key has been released the same for the mouse same for the sound card so the different devices having different ISR for example keyboard keyboard is having the own ISR disk controller having own ISR your NIC NIC card having own ISR sound card your sound card is having own ISR video card having own ISR so the devices different devices will have a different ISR and these ISR basically nothing but a part of the driver like ISR related to keyboard is basically part of the keyboard driver ISR related to disk is basically part of the disk driver ISR related to NIC is basically part of the and the driver is loaded whenever the particular device is initialized by the operating system or the BIOS if you want to understand the step-by-step -step execution of interrupt what happens when particular interrupt is erased you can check my previous video on internal working of keyboard where I have mentioned the step-by-step -step execution how the things works in backend when you press the key that contains the interrupt controller that contains the keyboard controller CPU op operating system ISR interrupt vector table so you can check that video now let's see when this IVT interrupt vector table is created when you boot your computer the BIOS BIOS create this table in the memory in the RAM so during the post call power on self test this table is created you might be aware that during the booting process BIOS checks the hardware basic hardwares like RAM disk different cards video card NIC sound card keyboard mouse if those hardware are working or not and BIOS initialize those hardware for example BIOS is checking the keyboard so it will initialize the keyboard it will load the driver keyboard driver in the memory 
and then it will assign the interrupt number interrupt number to the keyboard and then it will add the entry in the vector table interrupt vector table so in the entry it will give the interrupt number and then the address of the isr the isr so isr is nothing but part of the driver as we discussed in the previous slide so this entry is created the same steps followed for the disk for nic card for sound card for video card check that particular device load the device driver in the memory then assign the interrupt number to that particular device then create the entry in this table this entry will have the interrupt number and the the address of the isr that's all about interrupt vector table thanks for watching see you in the next video